Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for April 4th, read by Buddy C. from Atlanta, Georgia. AA Thoughts for the Day, Sunlight. When the thought was expressed to me that there might be a God personal to me, I didn't like the idea. So my friend Ebby made what then seemed a novel suggestion. He said, why don't you choose your own conception of God? That statement hit me hard. It melted the icy intellectual mountain in whose shadow I had lived and shivered for many years. I stood in the sunlight at last. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 12. Thought to consider. Joy isn't the absence of pain. It's the presence of God. Acronyms. Best. Been enjoying sobriety today? Just for today. Release from on a winter day. I knew I had to have a new beginning, and this beginning had to be here. I could not start anywhere else. I had to let go of the past and forget the future. As long as I held on to the past with one hand and grabbed at the future with the other hand, I had nothing to hold on to today with. So I had to begin here, now. The next time I went back to my AA group, the happy hypocrites looked different to me. I began to see love in their eyes and greater warmth than I ever had seen before. I mentioned it to my sponsor and he said, the reason you see love in these people's eyes is because you're beginning to love them. The love that we see in their eyes is the reflection of our own love. We have got to love to be loved. Decatur, Georgia. Came to Believe, page 46. Daily Reflections. Crying for the Moon. This very real feeling of inferiority is magnified by his childish sensitivity and it is this state of affairs which generates in him that insatiable, abnormal craving for self-approval and success in the eyes of the world. Still a child, he cries for the moon, and the moon, it seems, won't have him. Language of the Heart, page 102. While drinking, I seemed to vacillate between feeling totally invisible and believing I was the center of the universe. Searching for that elusive balance between the two has become a major part of my recovery. The moon I constantly cried for is, in sobriety, rarely full. It shows me instead its many other phases. There are lessons in them all. True learning has often followed an eclipse, a time of darkness. But with each cycle of my recovery, the light grows stronger and my vision is clearer. As Bill sees it, in all our affairs... The chief purpose of AA is sobriety. We all realize that without sobriety, we have nothing. However, it is possible to expand this simple aim into a great deal of nonsense, so far as the individual member is concerned. Sometimes we hear him say, in effect, sobriety is my sole responsibility. After all, I'm a pretty fine chap, except for my drinking. Give me sobriety, and I've got it made. As long as our friend clings to this comfortable alibi, he will make so little progress with his real-life problems and responsibilities that he stands in a fair way to get drunk again. This is why AA's 12th step urges that we practice these principles in all our affairs. We're not living just to be sober. We're living to learn, to serve, and to love. Letter 1966 Big Book Quote It is easy to let up on the spiritual program of action and rest on our laurels. We're headed for trouble if we do, for alcohol is a subtle foe. We're not cured of alcoholism. What we really have is a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 85, into action. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. When I came into AA... I found men and women who had been through the same things I had been through. But now they were thinking more about how they could help others than they were about themselves. 
they were a lot more unselfish than I ever was. By coming to meetings and associating with them, I began to think a little less about myself and a little more about other people. I also learned that I didn't have to depend on myself alone to get out of the mess I was in. I could get a greater strength than my own. Am I now depending less on myself and more on God? Meditation for the day. You cannot help others unless you understand the person you're trying to help. To understand the problems and temptations of others, you must have been through them yourself. You must do all you can to understand others. You must study their backgrounds, their likes and dislikes, their reactions and their prejudices. When you see their weaknesses, do not confront the person with them. Share your own weaknesses, sins, and temptations, and let other people find their own convictions. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may serve as a channel of God's power to come into the lives of others. I pray that I may try to understand them. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota 55012. My name's Buddy, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.